Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm looking at Slim SEO. The Slim SEO team has just released version 4, which adds some new features. In case you aren't familiar, Slim SEO is a free SEO plugin that's available in the WordPress plugin directory. It's from the same team that makes a popular Metabox plugin. The idea with Slim SEO, as the name implies, is that it's a leaner alternative to some of the monster SEO plugins that we're familiar with. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at a site that has the previous version of Slim SEO installed. We'll look at the user interface and the features there quickly. Then I'll install the new version and we'll do a comparison and see what the new features are. So I have here a site. It's actually a brick site. And if we go to the dashboard, we see it's a bricks child theme. Bricks has some super simple SEO option, which I've turned off for this site. If we look at plugins, we see that we have Advanced Themer, and we have Core Framework, and then the rest of these are kind of normal options that you might have on your website for security and backups and sending email and whatnot. But then here is Slim SEO, and we see that it's version 3.25.3. So Slim SEO is found on the Settings menu. Let's go take a look. And what we have here are some tabs across the top. Features, Code, Homepage, Post Types, Social, Tools, and Redirection. And then here you can turn on and off the features that you want to be using. The code tab is where you can add code like for Google Analytics or something like that. And then home page and post types, these are ones that changed. On the home page, you have your site, meta title, and description. And then an open graph image for Facebook and Twitter. Under post types, it has this version, has a drop down, and it shows you the custom post types that are available. And there's an option to hide them from search results if you don't want them seen on search results like this one. See, I hit it so it's not indexed. Okay, then social, this is where you can set your default images for open graph for Facebook and Twitter. And then you can add your Twitter handle and your Facebook app ID if you have one for Facebook here. Then under tools, you, know, you can migrate from other plugins to Slim SEO. Under redirection, you can set up redirects if you need them for your site. It's pretty straightforward. It has the essentials that you need. And as I said, keep an eye on this homepage and post types because that's what is going to be changing when we upgrade. So I'm going to go and add new plugin. I'm going to do a manual upload. So here's the version 4. I'm going to install it. And we'll go to settings. And we'll see what's changed here. So now instead of home and post types, we have meta tags. So that's what's new. And this is the same information that we had previously under home page. This is the home page option here panel on the left. So that's the same. There's something new here, which is we have this three dot menu. And so now we have dynamic data 
options, dynamic data tags that we can use in our SEO title and descriptions. That's a new feature here for people who wanted to customize the meta information for SEO. This will be a nice improvement. There's also these magic tags for current year, current page number, separator character, right? This is an example of the separator character. Okay, now we go to post types, shows post page on sale and URL. Did it, yeah, okay, and brought this over to keep that hidden. Okay, but now for on sale, we can add our uh, meta title and description. It says post auto description. Okay, so let's just open up a post here. Here's one about a recent security release. And we go look at the search engine optimization on the page, the on-page search engine optimization option, and it says auto description. And so what it's doing here, since we don't have excerpts, it's taking the first 160 characters by default. And you see it here. And if you want to override that, then you can put in a custom description. Okay, then these are new options here, we can create some SEO title and description for our categories and tags. It's going to use auto description. Let's go and see if when I created the categories, did I give them a description? You can see here's some news about a release or update. But then I've added some where I haven't had a description. And so this is where I should be updating it so that it's picked up there. And this new version of Slim SEO kind of has alerted me to that situation. Okay, so I've added in the description here for this. Now, if we go down, you can see these fields are added by Slim. And you can see that it picked up the description that I added and it's going to make an auto description there. And then we can also set a Facebook and Twitter image for the category. So that's kind of cool. It's not something I want to do right this minute, but I could see coming back and doing that. So I'll pause the video and I'll add in the descriptions for the new categories. Okay, I've added descriptions to these. So if we look at tags, we have a problem. I haven't put any descriptions in. And let's see, how many are there here? There are 204 items. So that would be a huge amount of work to add all those descriptions. And I wonder if the new version of Slim SEO can help us out. Let's go back and look here. I don't think we want to hide the tags from search. And so let's see if we can create a meta description that uses the new dynamic data, dynamic tags feature. So let's see, we'll say news and resources related to, and then let's put in our dynamic tag, the term name. All right. And so now we have kind of a generic one, a generic description, but it's customized enough because it's going to have the term name in it. So this works well, and it's an example of the new feature. Okay, so I'll save that. And then for author, I think it's going to do the same thing. 
I think I'll just turn off author pages for this site. So that's what's new with Slim SEO 4. We now have new features for customizing the meta titles and descriptions, for using dynamic tags from the site, from posts, from custom post types, from taxonomies to customize the meta title and meta descriptions. I'm a fan of Slim SEO and use it on a number of sites. If you haven't tried it out yet, you might want to take a look. If you're already using Slim SEO, then you know now that there are some new features that you can take advantage of in optimizing your site and content for SEO. Hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.